Welcome to the Parsha Perspective. Each week, we will delve deep in a weekly Torah portion to find a practical and insightful way to enhance your daily life. Thank you for tuning in to the Parsha Perspective. My name is Shalom Yamini. Each week, we will look in the weekly Torah portion to find inspiration that will complement your daily life and intensify your connection to God. In this episode, we'll be talking about how to drastically transform your life. This week's Torah portion is Parshas Lechecha, where God introduces the first Jew, Avram Avinu, our forefather, the first person to discover God on his own. The first Pasuk in this week's Parsha starts off as follows. Vayemar Hashem al Avraham, and Hashem told Avram, Lech Lecha, leave, me'artzecha, umibalatetecha, umibesevicha, el aretz asherareka. God says to leave from your land, your birthplace, your father's house, and to the land I will show you. And then only after you leave, I will make you into a great nation and you will be blessed. A question arises, why does the Torah need to point out the three places that Avram needs to leave from? From his land, his birthplace, his father's land. Torah is very, very exact and precise with its wording. These three places, his land, his birthplace, his father's home, are seemingly one. They are the same. So why does Torah need to individually recognize each one? The answer is given that in order for Avram, to change, to become the first person to discover God by himself, he needed to leave these three places. These three places were holding him back through his preconceived notions of what should be his land, his environment that was telling him to serve idols, his father's house where they did serve idols, and from his birthplace, what he saw when he was young and how he grew up. All those, way, all those three things needed to be changed in order for him to transform himself into the first Jew, the first person to discover God on his own and be the father of the greatest nation in the world. In our daily life, if we want to drastically transform ourselves into a better person, we need to leave these preconceived notions of who we are, of what holding us back, of what we can't do, of the potential that we can't reach because of different excuses and circumstances that are holding us back and holding our potential at bay. We need to leave our comfort zone. We need to leave our preconceived notions behind in order to drastically transform ourselves. Because if drastic transformation is what we're looking for, then drastic measures need to be taken. We need to realize that we are heavily influenced by many different things. Our family, our friends, our schooling, work, they all influence the image that we see when we look at ourselves in the mirror. If transformation is what we're looking for, is imperative, to destroy the image that we see in the mirror and reboot yourself according to the new way you want to live your life. We tend to live in the comfort zone, which is stagnant, stationary. But if we want to transform ourselves, we need to leave those influences behind, those influences which are keeping us back from being the person who we want to be and from the potential that we can reach. Every true great leader had such a moment. Moses, Moshe Rabbeinu, the person that brought down the Torah to this world, had this moment when he was young, when he left the palace and saw his Jewish brethren in slavery, seeing an evil Egyptian getting ready to whip another Jew, and him saying God's name, killing the Egyptian instantly, leaving behind the influences of his youth, being brought up in the royal palace by Parai and his daughter. He decided at that moment that he would not sit idly by as his Jewish brethren get killed. God saw this and made him the leader to take the Jewish people out of Egypt and to bring down the Torah, making him the most important leader in the Jewish people's history. All it took was that one moment when he decided to go against his preconceived notions, defying Pare and all the Egyptians and becoming one of the Jewish people. If true transformation is what we are looking for, it is imperative to leave behind all influences, be objective to our potential, and then we can get to work, whether it be physically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally. They all start by leaving behind all ideas that can control your life and hold back your true self. And if you do this correctly, at the end of this journey, you will be truly satisfied with the person that you will see staring back at you when you look in the mirror, a leader in your own life. I will finish off with the quote, it's only after you've stepped out of your comfort zone that you begin to change, grow, 
and transform. Have a great weekend and a good Shabbos. Thank you for tuning in to the Parsha Perspective. You may send thoughts and comments to the Parsha Perspective at gmail.com. Till next time, thanks for listening.